What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys some competitive VGC double battles in this game. And I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably sitting there like, yo, Jeans, how do we even do that? There's no casual ladder. There's no rank ladder in this game. How are we able to do battles? And that is going to be through link codes. I was talking to that's a plus one. He's a huge name in the Pokemon community. If you guys do not know who that is, I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. And he is trying to start a link code where people can just go into and do double battles. And that code is going to be 8889 8889. Three eights and a nine twice. So if you guys want to do double battles, make Make sure you guys start using that code he wants to spread it around the pokemon community so i'm spreading that word like i said i'm going to say it one more time if you guys want to do double battles use the code 8889 8889 but the team that we're going to be using today and showcasing in today's video is going to be this lovely garchomp tyranitar team made by yours truly i made this team first team i'm making for bdsp and this team is looking phenomenal i tried it out a few times on the rank double ladder and it was working out pretty strong but let's go over it right now first pokemon on this team we have the one and only togekiss it's a timid nature its evs are putting hp speed and a tad bit in special attack i will have a whole pokey paste down in the description below if you guys want to check it out and this thing is rocking out with the moves of air slash dazzling gleam follow me and protect definitely a top tier double pokemon cannot wait to show him off a little bit more next pokemon is going to be garchomp love this pokemon so much jolly nature and this thing is just an attack and speed build right here it's it's made to just get after pokemon hit them hard pick up one hit ko's and outspeed a bunch of pokemon moves that we're working with is dragon claw eq sword stance and protect Next Pokemon is Arcanine. This Arcanine build is phenomenal. Very good at controlling the battle with the Intimidate, the will o -Wisp to drop physical attack, and then we also have Snarl for special attack drops. Flamethrower is, is its final move alongside with Protect. EVs are actually spread out a little bit different. It's got HP fully bulked up so it can actually soak up some shots, a little bit in special defense, and then the other half in speed. And the nature is uh, timid over here. Give it a nice little speed boost. Lovely all around. Next Pokemon on the squad is Tyranitar. And this Pokemon is super, super good in this format. It's just been great in all around formats, but now that Dynamax is out the way, but weakness policy isn't here, Tyranitar is our next choice. But uh, he works really well with the Garchomp because Garchomp has Sand Veil as its ability. Paired well with his Sandstream, they can really go hand in hand with each other. We got this thing on the uh, bulky build with HP and defense and that Impish Nature to give it another defensive bulk. And then we got the moveset of Crunch, Rock Slide, Iron Tail, and Protect. Obviously, I would like to have Iron Head on this Pokemon, but to get that egg move is a little bit tougher. So we settle for Iron Tail on this Pokemon. Next Pokemon is Rotom Wash, and I'm telling you guys, this thing is a special attack monster. Let's go over its EVs first. It's special attack and speed. Straight up, ready to rock out, ready to just get out speeding and deal a massive special attack damage. It has special attack as its nature, which is modest, and that attack drop actually goes with that uh, modest as well. So, like I said, this thing is just built for speed and hitting like an absolute truck. Move set we're working with is Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot the setup, and Protect for our final move. Next, and I think this is the final Pokemon. Yep. Next Pokemon, the final Pokemon is Sableye. And Sableye is a great little support mod. One of the only Pokemons in this game that actually learns Prankster ability. So we got the knockoff on him, take off items, fake out for flinches, taunt to actually taunt support mods, and quash to actually take a little bit of speed control in this format, considering speed control is very, very like there's not a lot of speed control in this format. So quash is going to be that move that we do. EVs are right here. We have this thing totally boosted out on the HP EV. A little bit in defense and then mostly in special defense. And then uh, last thing I want to go over is actually the items. I didn't even get to say that. We got the skill points on this Togekiss with Super Luck ability. Sand Veil and Life Orb on this uh, Garchomp. You know this thing is going to be an absolute monster. We got that Aguave Berry and the Intimidate ability. And then we got Leftovers because, you know, weakness policy isn't a thing. I want them on weakness policy, but I think Leftovers works well on this thing because he's super, super bulky. And then his ability Sandstream. This thing we have the Citrus Berry with the levitate ability obviously and then final pokemon we got that mental herb with that prankster ability but guys like i said if you guys want to join uh join up on stuff code is 8889 8889 that's exactly what we're going to hop into and showcase some vgc double battles for pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl Hopping into our first battle for a YouTube video for Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl VGC Double Battles. Cannot wait. We are rocking out with this amazing team right here. And I didn't even get to say this in the intro. If you guys do enjoy the VGC Double Battles in Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl, make sure you, sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys like the BDSP format? Because I'm having a blast playing this game. I think it's a lot of fun. But opponent has Magmortar. Uh, who is that? Probat for Tailwind, then he also has Togekiss, Gliscor, Garchomp, and Ditto. 
and ditto looking pretty cool cannot wait to get after this one and try to get ourselves our first ever win on the youtube channel but how should i play this one how should i go out with it he does have the crowbat he has no intimidate so arcanine could be really good for us and our rotom could be very beneficial too i really do like how rotom's looking up up against a lot of these pokemon so i think we bring him and we might want to try to set off a nasty pot right off the rip we go fake out in the nasty pot maybe go that way I'm kind of liking that. Let's go Sableye alongside with Rotom turn one. I definitely want to bring that Arcanine because I think Arcanine could be really, really good. And then final Pokemon, I think we rock out with the Togekiss. Where do we go with Garchomp? Garchomp's not too bad here. Hmm. It's either Togekiss or Garchomp. How do I want to play this one? How do I want to do this? I'm thinking Togi. Let's bring in our Togekiss. Battle number one coming at you guys. Let's get after this. Let's get after this. But another little like rule that we are trying to run through the Pokemon community is when you use this code, try to do like a uh, battle format stuff. 4v4, all that good stuff. So hopefully this guy's rocking 4v4. Let's see. Let's see. He goes in with a Gliscor alongside with the Crobat. I think I might just fake that out and set up a Nasty Pot. It's potentially our play here. He did bring four, which is awesome. But I could fake out, set up a Nasty Pot, and then quash and finish that thing off. And I'm kind of liking that. I really am liking that. We have Levitate. Um, this thing could be Poison Heal, the Glide score, but I'm liking where, where you're sitting right here. So I'm going to fake out the Crobat, try to not let him get up or set up a Tailwind. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe he'll protect it. We shall see what he does, but I really wish they added like a ladder where you can just hop on, hit play now, and it will pair you up with somebody. I really do not like the link codes, but this is what we're working with. This is what we're going to try to do. Try to get the community rolling pretty strong. But fake out comes out here. We give the clap skis to the Crobat, and... Toxic or Glasscore got uh, Toxic by who? Oh, he's inner focus. Why, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? He's inner focus. Bad play by Jeans. Bad play by Jeans. But it's fine. He Toxic him for the Toxic kill. I think it would have been more beneficial if he was Toxic Orb. But rough play by us. We could have just faked out the Glasscore and got rolling there. But with this play right here, I think we just Thunderbolt. And I could... I could Quash. I could Quash the Crobat just so it doesn't get off a Tailwind. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to quash the Crobat so it doesn't get off a Tailwind. But honestly, I should have faked out the Gliscor knowing that thing was in our focus. I do know that. I was just talking and rambling on. So I wasn't really thinking Pokemon. So let's settle down. Let's play some Pokemon. We're going to quash the Crobat. Gliscor is going to come through with a Cross Poison. We eat up that all day, baby. And our Citrus Berry is going to pop, which is lovely. So we have a Nasty Pot set up. This Crobat's going to go down here. No problem. I'm telling you guys, this Rotom is an absolute menace. He's a menace, and I think we're going to be showcasing him here in this first battle, which is absolutely amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. If Crobat goes down, we are rolling strong. But I am I really do like this format. I really do like this format a lot. I think it's totally different from Sword and Shield. And I feel like Sword and Shield was kind of like one of the worst formats out of all the BGC stuff. But he is going to bring out Togekiss. And I could just go for knockoff. I could quash. And I might quash the Gliscor. Could Thunderbolt. I'm trying to think what he's going to do. He could actually protect the Togekiss. I think I'm going to take out the Gliscor here. Because Tokus doesn't really pose that big of a threat to us. I think we just take out this Gliscor with a Quash. Or I could taunt uh, Togekiss here. Mm, actually, let's go after Togekiss just in case he uh, follows me. Let's just go after Togekiss here. Just in case he followed me and then we will... Do I take off items or do I just taunt that thing? I say we taunt it so follow me doesn't really uh, do us dirty later on in the match. But Togekiss protects. That's what I was worried about. I was definitely worried about that. He ends up protecting. Taunt is going to get blocked. That's tough news. I knew we should have went to the Hydro Pump. He's going to go for an EQ. I'm cool with that. We're Levitate. That's just going to hit up onto my uh, my Sableye. And Sableye should be able to soak that up all day. So lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that soak up. Look at that soak up. I didn't even mention in the beginning all of my Pokemon are EV trained. We did show off the EVs, but they're all also IV trained to the back. So it's really, really good. Uh, we could go into a Thunderbolt. And the problem with this thing is we cannot see what other Pokemon they have on their team. So if you didn't write it down, take a picture, you're out of luck. I'm trying to remember. He could have Magmortar. I'm trying to think, what can he have that can really eat up a Thunderbolt? I don't really think he has that much. So I think Thunderbolt is just a safe play. And we take off whatever item a Gliscor is rocking with. Let's see. He's going to withdraw Togekiss. And what Pokemon is, is he going to go into? He's going to go into Garchomp. And of course, of course. See, if I had a picture of the Pokemon thing, I would have definitely looked at it. And been like, okay, he has a guard chomp. Might not want to go into this. Cross is gonna fly. My Rotom has been eating it up all day. Critical hit's gonna fly out here, and Thunderbolt's gonna get blocked. But we are gonna be able to take off the item onto the glass score. But from here, uh, what should I do from here? He's probably just going to Dragon Claw me. Uh, I might quash the. He's very fast. He's very fast. 
But I might quash the, uh... I could protect and swap. Oh, I do have Arcanine. Yeah, let's protect you. Let's protect my Rotom and just swap. I could swap an Arcanine. And just have my Fake Out ready to go later. And my Tokus can pretty much clean up a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm really liking where we're sitting. I'm really liking where we're sitting. He's going to withdraw the Garchomp. I'm cool with that all day. We're gonna, he's going to go into Tokus. And we're going to withdraw and go into Arcanine. And more importantly, get an Intimidate drop onto that Glide score there. Onto that Glide score. So Follow Me is ready to go again. He might go into another uh, swap. But I do like this Intimidate. So I might want to get Arcanine back out. I might want to swap Arcanine yet again. And get in my save wide. Just so I can have that Intimidate for the late game. It can be very beneficial. Especially because he has a Glide score. And he has a Garchomp. So Battle 1 not looking bad. This is a solid battle all around. Cross Poison is going to get blocked. We're looking pretty solid. We're looking pretty solid. Poison Heal is going to heal this thing up. And that thing is a pain. That thing is a pain. But uh, could just go into Hydro Pump. I think Hydro Pump is going to be play. He might take me out with a Cross Poison. And I might just Snarl up. I might just Snarl up. Just so that Tokus gets that special attack drop. It's just good all around. Tokus is going to protect. I'm with it. Big old Protect coming out from him. And this thing is going to go for an EQ. And yo, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. That thing's minus one. Rotom survives. If we can land his Hydro Pump, that guy score is gone. Arcanine should be able to soak up all day, baby. And he still has the Guap Berry. But she Snarl's gonna come out here. Get blocked by Tokus. Deal a little bit of damage to the Glide score. But more importantly, we need this Hydro Pump to connect. Please, Hydro Pump, connect here. Need you here, baby. Hydro Pump comes through here and it connects. Glide score, get on out my face. Glide score definitely dead. We're still plus two from the nasty pot. And we dump on the Glide score. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This Rotom is thriving. This Rotom is thriving here. Uh, play would now be to actually swap the Arcanine, protect the Rotom yet again. I think that's 100% the play. Because we definitely want that Intimidate for that uh, Garchomp. Could be very, very beneficial to us. So we're just going to protect this one. Play this one slow and start to finish off this battle. Uh, hmm. Could burn him. I could burn him. But I think I'd rather protect. Well, do I burn him here? He does have EQ and EQ is really, really tough. So I think I'd rather swap into Sableye here. So you can just go for a follow me into a uh, EQ. But I got to remember the protect resets and the toe kiss might protect yet again, which I think it's going to do next turn. I think it does protect next turn. Where Tom protects, we setting up the block. We don't want anything really going after him. Garchomp's going to use a bulldoze and what's called should be able to eat that up. Sableye should be thriving here with the eat up there. Yep, Sableye eats and what's toe kiss going for? Toe kiss has got to be going after Rotom, right? Right, let's see. Or maybe a Gleam. He does go for a Gleam. Mmm, Sableye's gonna go down. Sableye's gonna go down so we do not get out with that Fake Off turn or Fake Out turn. It's all good. It is all good. At this point, we just bring out our Intimidate Pokemon. We Intimidate, and I guess we just let our Rotom go down? Because my Togekiss might be able to just, like, pretty much finish off this battle. Intimidate's gonna be huge. If I get off a Burn onto that thing, onto that Chomp, that could be very, very big. But I do think the Togekiss might protect. And if Togekiss does, that's fine. We're going to definitely drop a Thunderbolt over onto that thing. But more importantly, we are going to go for this burn over onto the Garchomp. Let's see. Garchomp's going to use Bulldoze. It doesn't affect Togekiss. Togekiss did not go for the protect. So I think Togekiss will go down here. Arcanine will also go down. Because Rotom should be able to outspeed Togekiss. This Thunderbolt is plus two. Should be able to do massive amount of damage and pretty much uh, take it out, right? Let's see. Thunderbolt comes through. Finish this thing off. If it does, it's GG's. Yep, Toad Kiss. Get on out my face. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This Rotom is just rolling out strong for us. And now we have Toad Kiss in the back to pretty much just finish off this Garchomp. Can't use ground moves on us. Can't use dragon moves on us. It's GG's. It is GG's. And that is how we start off Pokemon BDSP VGC Double Battles for our YouTube channel. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We are just going to send a Hydro Pump. But more importantly, just get this Dazzling Gleam rolling. A great call by me. I did make a few mistakes that game, like faking out the, uh, the what's called right off the rip. Like faking out the, uh, what is that Pokemon called? The Crobat right off the rip. But other than that, I feel like we played great all around and we pick up this win. And we pick up this win. Dazzling Gleam's gonna come out here, take out the Garchomp. GG. We started off 1 0. 
second battle coming at you using this code and i cannot wait i'm just having a blast playing double battles with this i'm also do stream ranked double battles with viewers i shouldn't be calling them ranked double battles but it's just force of habit from playing sword and shield but i also stream over on twitch jeans 25 we do viewer battles and we also do trades over there so if you guys want any good pokemon come hit up your boy in stream link is down in the description below and name is right on the layout but uh we're getting rolling here in our second battle up against a totally different trainer here and yo look at this guy's team loving it another glide rocking out he has the togekiss he has the Metagross, the Nido King, the Garchomp, the Gliscor, and the Milotic with competitive ability. So definitely gotta watch out for that. I kind of just want to go into Garchomp Titar. Or maybe Garchomp Togekiss. Just follow me, try to set up a Swords Dance, and then get Titar out there later. Just to pair up with that Sand Bell. Could work really, really well. So I think I am going to do that. I'm trying to think how he can kind of counteract me. But Togekiss really rips here. Same thing with Garchomp. Just liking it all around. Let's bring in them too. Bring in that Tyranitar, considering we didn't get to show off the Tyranitar or Garchomp combo in that first battle. And then final Pokemon. He has Clear Body on the Metagross. Intimidate will work well on that Gliscor, Nido King, and Garchomp. But we just gotta watch out for that uh that Milotic. And I feel like we need like Rotom just to counteract that. I feel like that's our play. I feel like that is our play. We'll leave Arcanine in that back end. We're not be going to be bringing in Sableye, and I think we should be able to thrive out here and grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins for today's video. But, yo, I'm I'm just having a blast with double battles. I really do think that they should have added, like, that ladder. Just make this game a lot better. But he's going to end up leading the Metagross alongside with the Gliscor. I'm guessing it's Toxic Orb. I'm guessing it's Poison Heal, kind of like that last one. But the last guy did not have Toxic Heal on it. But we can roll out with these guys. He does have that, uh... I think I just set up a Swords Dance. And I protect my Togekiss. I can see either a Meteor Mash or a Bull Punch flying out from there. In that case, then we just swap into Sand Veil and we kind of just get ripping with EQs. Hmm, yeah, let's do this. Because if we could just protect, then EQ can just outspeed it and take it out. So let's see if we can make this hard read. Let's see if he'll go into Togus here. Sword Dance is going to pop. Let's see how this dude plays this one out. Let's see how this one gets played out. He could be rocking like an Ice Move. Doesn't Metagross learn an Ice Move? He's going to go for a Swords Dance with him. We know we outspeed him, which is just wonderful. Which is just wonderful. So we Swords Dance that. And he's going to go for that Meteor Match, which we block. Which we block. So with this going on here, I could just go for an EQ. He does have the Toxic Heal rolling. Uh, I think we just go for the EQ. We take out the Metagross. We follow me the shot. Yeah, I'm thinking this. This is, this is my thought process here. We take out the Metagross with the EQ. Hopefully it doesn't protect... Uh, it will not touch the glide score and then follow me come over here Then we can outspeed and dragon claw next turn Hopefully the metagross is protecting That could be tough news for us But great read by us to set up the sword stance Calling out that steel move coming into our togekiss just setting up that block and I wasn't gonna get protect on my togekiss I was actually gonna switch it out for helping hand but protect is definitely where it's at for double battles For double battles if you guys also need help for team building We'll be streaming. I'll be streaming I will be streaming. So you guys need help, just hit me up in my streams. But we're gonna go follow me. He doesn't protect, which is great. He's gonna go for a bull punch, which is easy eats. So kiss will be able to eat that up all day. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then more importantly, the EQ will fly out here and just wipe the Metagross off this planet, off the face of the earth. Get him on out of here. Swords Dance EQ from Garchomp. Teeing off. Um, next play. Let's see what's the, let's see what this Gliscor is doing. Gliscor might be going for a cross poison. Which I can definitely see happening, but I just don't want to lose my Garchomp. You go for a facade, and that still should take him out, right? Facade does ridiculous amount of damage. So facade takes us out here, and who should we go into here? Titar. Yeah, let's set up this sand bell. Get Titar rocking out here, and I'm going to Dragon Claw now into the Gliscor. Unless he brings out something that really poses a threat to my Garchomp, but Garchomp is just up right now. He is just on the board. I know Gliscor is pretty defensive bulky, but a plus two stab life orb Garchomp hits like a truck. I'm thinking it should be able to take him out. Ooh. Now we're sitting in a tough spot. Now we're sitting in a tough spot. This is the one Pokemon where it was just like, eh. So, uh, do I still go into that? What's the plan here? Rock Slide? Maybe Rock Slide Protect? Or I could just Dragon Claw down. Let's just protect the Chomp. Facade's looking scary. Let's go into the Rock Slide Protect. See, that was the one Pokemon that really did us dirty. Because if he goes for Follow Me, it kind of just messes us up. Let's see. He just goes for a Gleam, dude. We could have just Dragon Called and finished that thing off. Maybe he'll go into it next turn. Let's see. Titar's soaking that up. He's a bulky boy. And EQ's gonna fly here. And EQ's gonna take us out. EQ is going to take out the Garchomp, right? 
Or the Tyrantar. No, he eats up all day. Loving you, Garchomp. Or loving you, Titar. Titar's eating up. Rock Slide's gonna connect. It's not gonna kill, but it's going to do a nice chunk of damage. Okay. So we're sitting here. I still have my Rotom in the back, which is really, really good. And what other Pokemon does he have? Yeah, I think he has one other Pokemon left. So we have leftovers. I think we have to go into a Protect. Into a Dragon Claw. There's no way he follows me, right? There's no way he goes to a follow me. I just don't see that happening. We're going to go here, and I think we just protect my boy. Let's do that. Let's protect. And we still have the Rotom for the Togekiss. But if he doesn't go into a follow me, this could be really, really good because Garchomp outspeeds. Garchomp should be able to take out the Glass Court. But if we would have just went with our Dragon Claw originally, it would have been the play. Would have been the play. We're going to go into that Protect. Dragon Claw comes out here. KO this Glass Court for me. Yes, sir. Okay, Glass Court is gone. Get a crit on that as well. We get a crit on that as well. And what is Togekiss going for? Probably Gleam again. If I had to guess a Gleam, right? Togekiss is going to go for the Gleam. Can Garchomp dodge it with the Sand Veil? It does not. Can we eat? We do. That's a big eat. That is a huge eat. That is a huge eat. Because, I, like I said, I have Rotom in the back end. So now if Garchomp can just take out whatever Pokemon that he throws out here, that could be huge. That could be huge. Let's see what happens here. Needle King comes out here. Do we just Dragon Claw or do we just EQ? I might just EQ and bring this down to 1v1. Right, because Gleam takes us both out. And I think I need a guaranteed KO here. I think I need a guaranteed KO here. So let's go EQ. Mm, maybe go for another Protect. Let's see if we can land another Protect. But I'm hoping that the Nidoking King doesn't Protect. And if it doesn't, we pretty much have this match solidified. Let's see. Let's see this dude's play. It's coming down to this, ladies and gentlemen. Will Jeans go 2-0 for Pokemon BDSP? Oh my god, yo, the suspense is killing me. What's he gonna do? He can go into a follow me. I would love for him to go into a follow me. But I know Dazzle Gleam's gonna pick up the double kill and my Rotom can finish this one off. is gonna go for Protect. It fails. EQ comes out here. That's pretty much gonna solidify this battle. Unless it's Sash. Let's see. Nope. No Sash. Nido King is slept on or slumped on, I try to say. He's dead. Get him out of here. Uh, Tokus is gonna take out my Garchomp and we're just gonna throw out our Rotom and finish up this battle. It's going to be GG's. The combination of Swords Dance Tyranitar coming out here. Clutching up. Doing really, really well. But that Togekiss definitely posed a huge threat on me. Definitely was a huge threat on me. But my boy outspeeds. It's over with. It is G to the G's. Jeans is rolling strong in BDSP, baby. If you guys are enjoying, smash up that like button. It really does go a long way. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. And I can bring you guys more BDSP online competitive battles. Real time coming out here for our final Mon. Heavy special attack here all day. This thing cannot one-tap us. No grass moves on him. We just throw a Thunderbolt. We just throw a Thunderbolt and it is over with. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Thunderbolt. Come on, Thunderbolt. Oh, he's communicating. What's he going to do? What's his plan here? Luke is going to go for the Gleam. And, oh, that's some big damage. That's some big damage. That thing outspeeds me. Wow, I thought Rotom would outspeed that thing all day. But Citrus Berry gonna come out here, give us a bit more HP. But more importantly, you know that Thunderbolt coming in here and clutching up for us. GG's 2-0 for Pokemon BDSP. We are hopping into our third battle for today's video. Sitting at 2-0 in Pokemon BDSP competitive double battles. Yo, I'm having a blast playing these games. If you guys do enjoy the content, like I've been saying, leave a like on today's video. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying it and you want to see more BDSP ranked double battles. But... This is a third opponent. We have no rematches today. Some videos might have rematches because, like I've been saying, it is kind of tough to actually get some double battle opponents. But let's see what this guy is going to be using. It is waiting a little longer than usual, so maybe he quit. I'd be very upset if he quit. Or maybe he's just picking his team. Maybe he has multiple teams, but this is our first team that we're using. You guys can also let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon you guys would like to see in ranked double battles, or if you guys would like to see ranked single battles. I only have a double battle team right now, but this guy did pick his team, so we're getting into this battle, and ooh, you guys got, got some goodies on here. Torterra, Jirachi, Lugia, Luxray with Intimidate. He also has the uh, Dialga, who's special attacking, and Manaphy over here. Okay, I see what this guy's doing. I see him. Uh, what I want to do here is probably lead maybe my Arcanine. 
Zark and I can snarl up on a bunch of these special attackers, such as Dialga, Lugia, and Jirachi. And Manaphy special attacking. He has two physical attackers with the Luxray and the Torterra. So Intimidate will work on that. We're going to go into Arcanine. Um, who else do I want to play here? Who else do I want to play? I feel like Rotom is an absolute must to bring in here. Can uh, resist that electric typing. Can actually dodge the ground moves from Torterra. But I got to watch out for the grass moves as well. But I don't think I'm going to lead him. I don't think I'm going to lead him. Could lead my Sableye. Sableye could just start knocking off items left and right. Could be pretty solid. Or I can just lead my Garchomp right here, right off the rip. Hmm. What is the Jeans play? What is the Jeans play? What do I just lead Tokus? Tokus could just be great. I feel like Tokus is just solid all around here. So I'm just going to bring Tokus just as a nice little lead. Bring this Garchomp and then final Pokemon, Rotom Wash. Let's lock it in. Let's finish this off. Hopefully, this guy is rocking out with four Pokemon, not six. Granted, I did get into a few battles where people were just like rocking with six Pokemon. It's just like, come on, man. It's come on. But we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. Jirachi and Torterra is going to be the lead. And what's he going to do? Intimidate will affect that Torterra really well here. So I could throw off a burn because I know Arcanine will outspeed. And then we should be able to eat up an EQ from there. Let's see. Or I can just air slash it. Intimidate's going to pop here. And he did bring six. He did bring six, so I could actually protect and just air slash. Which I might just do because I can see him going for like a ground move or something along those lines. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna protect the Arcanine this turn. See how this one plays out and just drop a big old air slash from my super luck scope lens token kiss over here. This thing's a beast. It's an absolute monster. Definitely one of the best double Pokemons in this format. Air slash is gonna fly. Give me that crit all day. All day, yo. Get on out my face. Is that crit? It was a crit, and this thing has not that good special defense, so we were able to just one-tap it and get it on out of our face. Jirachi's going to go for a Meteor Mash. Ooh, let's see a Meteor Mash, which we should be able to soak up pretty well. Yeah, it's not Stab. That's easy soak-ups. Jirachi is pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Its stats are not bad. Lugia's going to come out next, and now we're just going to start dropping Snarls. I feel like Snarl is definitely in the play here. That's a nice little Protect. Even though, like, we could have just not went to a Protect and just Snarl right for it. But Snarl is going to be the play, and I could just Protect you here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this one slow. Just protect the Tokus. Make sure my Snarls get out there. And then Snarl again the next turn. But I got to remember. He has six Pokemon. Can we do a 4v6 here? Can we do a 4v6? Ice Beam's going to get blocked. Yo, beautiful protect there. And now is he going to also Meteor Mash here? That could be a play. It could be a play. And that Lugia is rather fast. If it's outspeeding my Arcanine. Because my Arcanine's timid. It doesn't have full stats and EVs on speed. But it's still rather fast. Snarl's gonna drop special attack, and he drain punches here. That's physical, but he's intimidated as well, and that thing is just not doing well. He's not doing well there. Let's just snarl up again. I'm not worried about that thing's physical attack, and this thing is rocking leftovers. And I gotta remember, they can use two of the same items in this. Granted, my team does not. Like I said, I like to play competitive-wise. So we're just gonna drop this and go into... I guess just an air slash. Could air slash. We could gleam. I think we're just going to air slash and maybe just go for a flinch on the... Nah, we're going to start teeing off on damage on Lugia. That thing's a bulk. That thing's an absolute bulk. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see. He's probably dropping another Ice Beam, so we got to watch out for that. And Tokus might be able to outspeed Lugia. We'll see. He's going to set up a Reflect. Okay, so he sets up a Reflect here. We have no physical attackers on the field. He might think that my Arcanine could be physical attacking, but it is not. We're going to snarl up, get that special attack drop, which is just so huge. And I might start dropping burns on Pokemon. Even though they're not physical attacking, burn is just consistent damage throughout each round, and it could be really beneficial to us. Air Slash going to fly here. Let's see how this one plays out here. This thing is a bulk. This thing is an absolute bulk. Meteor. Oh, he's going to Meteor Mash into him. Wait, what? Misclick. Yo, it had to be a misclick. Yo, I'm telling you, when you guys battle, make sure you guys use the D-pad. I misclick every here and there by using the uh, the joystick. It's just not the way. It is just not the way. But we're going to start throwing burns. I'll throw one on Lugia. And I'm just going to protect my Togekiss again. Because I think he's going to come after him yet again. Either with a Meteor Mash or a Ice Beam. Let's just do that. I could have snarled again. But dude, these things special attack is in the trash. going to go for an Ice Beam. And we block it, yo. Out reading this guy. Out playing him early on here. Really, really nice. But I'm hoping we can pick up this win with a 6v4. We're going to start throwing on burns. And I think... It could be a good chance to actually swap. This could be a phenomenal chance to swap. Yo, look at that. Double down into me there. Um, I want to get off a swap. I think he's going to go into my Togekiss here. I kind of want to get off a swap in order to maybe like Sword Stance up. It'd be really, really good for us. Or Nasty Pot or Sword Stance. What would be the play? So Rock and Ice Beam. What other move has he been rocking? Meteor Mash. Ice Beam is definitely scary. 
So we just go into here and try to set up a nasty plot. Go here and then, uh... So we go for the flinch in the Jirachi slot. Yeah, let's just try to flinch the Jirachi. Swap the Arcanate, a 9 back. I would love to get out that guard chomp and try to set up a Swords Dance, but I do not want him to throw an Ice Beam into that slot, but I don't think he's going to do it. Look, he's going to Ice Beam here. Should be able to just soak it up easily. Toka should just be soaking up damage here. So he's going to double down and go into a Meteor Mash. He might, but I'm hoping we get this flinch. Hoping we can get this flinch. Not very effective. We do get that crit because Scope Blinds Super Luck, and it is not. He's going to go for Zen Headbutt, which should be able to eat. Or Tom eats. Could just go for the Follow Me at this point. Could just go for the Follow Me. They... Hmm, he might think I'm protecting, but I'm just going to follow me. I got a nasty plot set up here, right? I have to nasty plot set up. It's a must. It's like, dude, he's low on, uh, he's low on special attack and physical attack. It's a must to set up this thing. And he cancels battle. We take those all day, baby. Man, I really wish that third battle would have went the distance. I would have loved to win a 4v6 situation, which it was starting to look that way. We had the burns. We were starting to set up the nasty spot and rolling out that way. But our third opponent canceled the battle. So technically, we still went 3-0 and in today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the Pokemon BDSP VGC double battles competitive, whatever you guys want to call it, video for today. If you guys would like to see more, smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Also, you guys can let me know what other Pokemon you guys would like to see me play in competitive battles. Last thing I want to say is, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to start getting into double battles or singles battles, make sure you guys use this link code 8889. 8889. I will be leaving it in the description below as well because me other pokemon youtubers that's a plus one especially set up this code so the community of pokemon can have a place to do rank battles all around so if you guys are interested in that like i said use that code to play the rank battles but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace out everybody